Hey everyone, Les Herger here from ComfortableShoesStudio.com and ArtJournaling.ning.com and I'm going to be answering another question. Uh, Brooke over on YouTube asked, how does she write on, or what does she use to write rather, on acrylic painted backgrounds? Everyone's heard about this, these horror stories with the acrylic painted backgrounds where nothing writes on them and, and it clogs your tips and blah 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 blah. The real key to writing on acrylic painted backgrounds is to make sure that your acrylic and your gloss gel medium or whatever you're using on those pages is completely 100% dry. If you're if you're painting and you're going to write on it immediately, you're going to clog your tips. Um, and that's the big problem with acrylic paints is that, you know, there's a slick part to it and you're going to end up over going over it and over it and over it again. Um, Depending on how glossy your page is, depends on what will write on it. Um, I have had very good luck with Sharpies, and I've heard a lot of people saying that they, they don't work for them. Um, maybe the regular Sharpies don't work, but the um, silver and gold will write on just about anything, on pretty much any surface, and those are great. Um, I like the Sakura Permapeg markers. These are awesome, and I really enjoy... Uh, drawing with them. Um, they've got a really neat tip. You're never going to be able to see that. They've got a really neat little tip, bullet point, but it work goes really fine. They're a little spendy, but um, but they're enjoyable. Um, another thing that a lot of people look over um, and don't think of when they think of writing on their acrylic surfaces is a good old-fashioned clickable ballpoint pen. Um, these will give you a nice surface texture because it'll actually, if you push down, it'll it'll imprint into the acrylic paint and into your paper. Um, but the good old ballpoint pen, you know, this is what, 15 cents? Um, will write on a lot of glossy acrylic surfaces. Um, if all else fails, you can get out your brush and your gesso and put a little, little white patch. Or you can get some clear gesso and get the same... Um, same idea. Um, if the problem that you're having is just that you're working on a glossy surface, you could also get some matte medium and that will uh, cut the gloss of it or um, you could mix a little bit of matte medium with your gel medium and that will um, give you a little more stick or stuff for your stuff, your marker and whatnot to stick to. Um, but uh, the clear gesso is, is pretty rough. It's like sandpaper on there, and you're going to find that it's pretty gritty and it's going to wear down the tips of your, your markers. Um, but try some stuff. It's all an experiment. Um, but I have good luck with the Sharpie. And you've seen some of the stuff that I've done. It's, it, I can work pretty impasto in my uh, art journal. So, yeah, um, variety of things will work on glossy acrylic pages. It's just a matter of finding the right one for your art journal. Um, create a test page and try things out. Sharpies, ballpoint pens, paint pens, um, they all work. Just depends on your art journal.